what's the story? Okay. Oh, there's other stuff to do. Next load to take down. It's one eleven.
I want the table to work. Again, I got a you're such a good mecca. Wow, you're so good.
Okay, Mecca, let's go outside again. What's that, Mecca? Hi. What's going on? Laundry, what's up with you? Oh, not a whole lot. Okay, Just well. Enjoying the weather, you know? Uh, it's supposed to start raining a little bit earlier. I'm glad it, uh, glad it stopped for the time being because I got another hour and a half before I get off. How do you feel about two weeks here and then two weeks over in southeast? Rotation. Rotation? Yeah. We do, we do a pretty good job of that. You get over to southeast? Good job rotating around. You know, they give us the south one day and the north the next day. You know, we kind of switch it up a little bit. Across the bridge on the other side Another of the Anacostia? Uh, it's a little bit out of our jurisdiction. Ten square miles. 
And then wherever the members travel, that should all be your jurisdiction. Well, they do. The, uh, the Dignitary Protection Division, they travel around the members. Well, that's good, but yeah. still, 10 square miles, yeah. man. It's all yours. Hey, did you, did you wrestle in college? Yeah. I heard about that. Someone told me the other day. I didn't know that. Where'd you wrestle at? I wrestled heavyweight, Harvard freshman, uh, undefeated. Are you serious? I was the biggest guy on the team, so I had to go out and wrestle these great big heavyweights. How much did you weigh? 187 pounds. You wrestled heavyweight in college at 187? Yeah. Now they have a 189 and they have a new, because uh, I wrestled in high school, but. Ah, right. They, uh, and I have an 11 year old son, he wrestles, he wrestles too. All right. Um, but uh, now they have a 215 weight class. Did you know that? They, they no, I didn't. That. I don't know if that was in college, but I know you got to be over 200 now in college to wrestle heavyweight. I think it might have changed over the years. Uh huh. That makes sense. So you wrestled, so what was the heaviest before, where was the cutoff for heavyweight when you were going? I don't know, I remember I wrestled 167 in high school. Did you really? Yeah. And then, uh, what was there, something above that, I guess, and then heavyweight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um. So, well, that's cool. So you, yeah. were, you, you were undefeated your freshman year? Yeah, yeah. I went to watch my roommate wrestle, and uh, we needed someone to wrestle heavyweight. They made me go suit up. Uh, I, had, I left the team because our band was recording on Capitol Records, and I was going down to New York for recording sessions. So I came back for something, and um, sure enough, they needed someone. I ended up suiting up. And that's how I got this from uh, Bart Harvey gave me this one. And the University Health Services never reset it, but... Uh, yeah, uh, wrestling's a good sport. It teaches you a lot about physics and yeah. geometry and yeah. gravity and right. astronauts. You, and I'm sure you wrestled in high school, too. Yeah, Frank Bissell was our coach. Who was yours? Oh, um, who was his name? Uh, Warren was his last name, I think. Okay, Warren. What was his first name? I'm trying to remember the guy's um, Coach Warren. I can't remember his first name. But he was there for a while. That was did they teach you chain wrestling there? What's that? Chain wrestling? Chain wrestling? Yeah, chain wrestling where you, um, if you do a sit out, then you can do various moves from there that naturally follow. Oh, they, yeah, they taught us a different thing. They taught us, you know, like, you know, they taught us all the basic first when I was a freshman, like the near and far side cradle and, you know, shooting in, sprawling, the basic stuff. And then they, uh, they kind of got a little more advanced and started teaching us like how to turk and, you know, bridge and all that kind of stuff. Def Hi. Defensive stuff. Like if you're on your back, you can bend the bridge, try to get out and all that stuff. Yeah. We were taught uh, chain wrestling where you learn what moves naturally flow to other moves so that um, if you get blocked, you, like you can sit out, then you try to turn in, but you get blocked, well, then you can push and stand up and then try to turn in. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, you get chain wrestling, it's almost like chain logic or computer programming. Uh, chain wrestling, yeah, uh, I really recommend it. Uh, we would do drills, switch, turn, switch, sit out, stand up, turn in, uh, single leg. Uh, you do three or four moves in a row, like choreography. Yeah, yeah. So did you go to, did you go to Harvard? Six years it took me to get through uh, the undergraduate program, and then I only got through one year of the MBA program for business and so administration. You your undergrad Barely, yeah. They don't treat me very well when I go back there. That's like a caste system. We need a new chief of police for Harvard University, believe me. Uh, okay. That officer, Riley, and the guys, that, it's like apartheid. They give you no trespassing order, no reason, nothing in writing. You go in and fill out a two, three-page report in the captain's office, you come back, they don't have any file on you after you wrote it in their office. Right, right. It's terrible. And then the president of the university is afraid. She delegates it all to the uh, HUP people to decide who can be on campus or not. Right, right. It makes the university look terrible. They're dealing drugs in the dormitories, Harvard Square, shooting up heroin gallery right there in the square where I used to work. At out of town news and ticket agencies selling newspapers in the morning. Now it's a bunch of guys hanging there, or you can tell they're strung out and stuff. It's really sad. And uh, I go in there and try to talk to them about it and stuff. They don't want to hear about it. I go over to the business school and give them an idea for internet campuses where you could, they're really good. The buildings and grounds is really good there. The workers are really good there. 
they could keep a campus together for you, uh, internet students. You could go to any internet classroom and then once you get done with your work you got people that live nearby you no matter where you're taking courses and you can go to a dance or have a meal you have a campus like atmosphere so I go try to share that idea and cuz I'm not dressed right they get all upset it's not so if any of you guys want to apply send them a bid for a new chief of police and uh, maybe you can do it cheaper than Riley's doing it they might hire you <laughs> All right, Bill, have a good day. Yeah, it's on to you. Good luck to your son. Let me know how his season works out, please. Good, Mecca. Perfect, be friendly. Okay, Mecca. Good. Ah. Okay, I gotta wait on this. this cord is I don't know if this one works one of these doesn't put out heat which one of these works Mecca Do you remember six years it took me get through all four years passwords oh dot stars who knows I think who trying to be nice Maybe worried about the Come here. Come here. That's good, Mecca. Come on, we gotta push the button here. Good. Then we gotta wash the clothes here. Ah. 
and then get the soap. Soap for the clothes. Soap for the clothes. And then we need to sort this, the pillow and the prayer rugs, and the blanket will take up one by itself. These are heavy. We do have your empty out water. I forgot this was in here. Likewise this. Oh, you're giving me some tension. I'm going to do one, two, three of these things. The pants. That might be enough. You want the agitator to work. Prayer rugs. And this might be enough. Recording on Capitol Records. Uh, can I get this to fit in there? Yeah, will that balance? Hopefully. Uh. Hear this? It's going. Is there room for the agitator? Is it going to be balanced? Feels like there's room for the agitator. Okay, so we got more loads to do later. Bicycle. One, two, three. Something about the movies, the third hangover. Ah. Okay, Mecca. This is broken here. There's who in black. Afghan hound. Huh? Afghan hound. Oh, is a hunting dog? Yeah. Oh. Hounds usually are, I guess. Coon dogs and uh, basset hounds and uh, beagles are not. Are they called hounds? Beagle hounds? Uh, we don't worry about girl or boy till we get to puppies. So these are Afghan hounds. Okay. Hey, Afghan. A Afghan hound. Yeah. Boy or girl. Uh, we don't worry about boy or girl till we get to puppies. Oh, 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 okay. And even now with laboratories, you don't need to worry much. Anyone can have a puppy with anyone almost. But you're right, there's a difference in their disposition, right? Right, right. In this breed, the males tend to stay around the home and protect it, and the females run off and make a family with a new dog. They find new blood for their family. All right. Take care. Yeah, you too. I'll try to be ready. Okay, I will. <laughs> Hi. And where are you off to, Mecca? You want to cross the street and see the chicken? Hi. 
Why did the CIA agent cross the street? Let me know. It was Mobius Street. There's a black Cadillac with relatively heavy tinted windows. It looks like it's not going to rain. Hi, how are you? Perfect represent the working man. Clean enough to bring this in this time, maybe. Oh, we got to do better. Uh, at least we're moving around doing laundry. Set the timer. 154. Red top, high bird. Okay, Mecca. Come on, Mecca. Come on in, Mecca. That's good. This is a good idea here. Everyone should get their greens mailed to them every week, every few days. I gotta wash you again. Oh. Good Mecca. Oh. Good Mecca. Okay. I'm gonna have to change the headgear soon. Gotta get to this other stuff. This needs to get cleaned. What's in the end? Plug this in.
English guy. Okay, 619. Uh, pretty sure I just finished one, huh? Where is it?